to the hotel. It's a bad idea, right? I want you guys to see how tiny this bedroom is. Paris things. So we are like hacking the system right now and creating, you know, tables for clothes, hanging things. Like, it's just, we're playing freaking Jenga right now. And it's so much fun. Okay, this is where we landed with our room situation. We put all of our clothing on top of this desk table, shoes and some hats uh, underneath. And then we hung anything we could, mostly like jackets and such over here. And then use that top shelf for like miscellaneous stuff. We each have a hook for our bags. There are mine, those are Amy's. And then we just made a mountain of our luggage with some more miscellaneous here. Literally, look at where I hung my jewelry, guys. This is... This is New York living at its finest. So, jewelry with a nightstand, just like hanging necklaces, laying everything out. And then that's it. I think we did pretty good. Now we have to go explore Paris, which is stunning. It's in New York. I show it. We are outside. We're on our way to brunch. We got a little second wind by showering. Yes, Took this some is pics. very necessary. Now we're off. We you know I told you, right? You know I told you that when something is about to happen, I don't know how what to react. What did you just say? <laughs> so I need the Mona Lisa totes in my Emily in Paris sheet. My friend is gone. Amy, where are we? At the flea market. Period. Que lindo. We hit a few shops up and now... We realized this is bigger than we thought, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> Scooped up some jewelry and some a and a scarf. scarf. Very cute. Let's continue. First day, farmer's market was a success. Farmer's market? Get a flea market. Flea market. My bad. I'm like, um, did we? <laughs> we look absolutely destroyed. I'm so tired. We're both super tired. Dead to the floor. I think we did well, though, for our first day. We did not fall asleep. We stayed up, like we said. And we did a little shopping. We did a little vintage shopping. So, super happy about that. And now we're going to go grab a little drink and then head back to the hotel. We made a promise that we would only Uber when we we're super tired or very far from our destination. So, we walked like 40 minutes to the flea market and now we are going to bike back to the hotel. Good morning, fam. Hey, Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to day two in Paris. Wee wee. We just got dressed. We slept a ton last night, y'all, which is so good because we were mad fucking tired at night. After at dinner, we were both like, like get us home. So we fell asleep pretty early. Woke up around like seven, eight ish, and then took our time getting ready. And now we are on our way to get one of the best croissants allegedly in our neighborhood. So stay tuned for the review and the rating. This is literally our neighborhood. How is this real? Nope. Ooh. Okay, softness. <laughs> Two content creators in Paris. Like, please. So, it's very soft. It's soft. It smells delicious. <gasps> Chelsea. Chelsea. This is crazy. Chelsea. soft it is on the inside it's really gooey but i don't know why i feel like it's missing like some sweetness to it maybe i'm just used to like I was cheap american it. croissants i feel like the starburst croissant is very sweet yeah yeah that's what i'm comparing it to which don't mala mia Ooh. okay um, so yes on my account and for chelsea i'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five yeah 
Nice. Are you giving it a four? I'm giving it a four. Okay. Uh, we've been creating nonstop after breakfast, which was that little croissant, and we are rushing because we have about like 30 Keep minutes rushing. before we have to meet Danny, our friend who lives here, for lunch. So now we came to the Eiffel Tower real quick, creating some videos and photos, and then we are off. Living the lifestyle. Look who we're with. Danny Chain. We <laughs> came to brunch with the girl, with their Parisian girl. She told us everything about Danny living here. Danny. And now we want to move. <laughs> Salute. So good. So good. This might be our first five out of five. No, this, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first. We get to a new little market in the second. Right to another flea. Good morning, family. Welcome to day three in Paris. We are just about ready to hit these streets. Today is our first museum day, I guess. We're trying to go to the Louvre. We don't have tickets, so we're gonna see if we can get tickets for today, if not for later in the week. We have lunch by the Louvre and then exploring the city. We wanna do a little bit of shopping today, definitely some content as per usual. And then, yeah, we'll just see where Paris takes us. Let's go. We're headed to lunch at Cafe Marly, which is right outside of the Louvre. It's supposed to be really, really good. And I strongly need a coffee. And after that, we can go into the Louvre or create content. It's supposed to rain around six today, so we really want to take advantage of this weather. So we're gonna see, we're gonna play by ear. We're just at the Louvre, as you can tell. We had lunch at Cafe Morley. <laughs> and then we took some content there. We were planning to go to the actual Louvre today, but it's supposed to rain a few days while we're here, so we don't want to waste like good weather being indoors. Um, but y'all, this is literally, Amy was just saying, the equivalent of like Times Square in yeah. Paris. And I get it, it's a tourist attraction, people come here for the pictures, like it's super cool, but like, the vendors are really annoying. pushy and annoying and can get kind of rude because we're still in Paris. So yeah, that was not a vibe, but everything else has been. Okay, so Amy and I are both mega fans of Les Labo which is created by French individuals but started in New York and so we're getting our refills while we're in town. Welcome to day three in Paris. We truly look like we're cosplaying Emily in Paris today and we love that. Um, they can stare all they want. We don't care. We're on our way to get croissants. Yesterday the place was closed which is really sad so we're gonna try again today and then we are headed to the Louvre again, like that area. We want to do the Palais, kind of like a flat space with these black and white kind of like pillars that are really fun. I'll put the name here. And then we are just hitting the town today. Like we're going everywhere. We're doing a little bit of shopping. We're doing a rooftop for lunch. So it should be fun. Something we are learning very quickly is that French meals take their time. Lunch could turn into three hours sitting really easily so we're trying to only do one sitting meal per day moving forward because we feel like it's not time wasted per se but it is time out of our day that we're just like sitting waiting there's only so much we can fucking talk about at this point in our lives so yeah let's see how today goes we go starting our day Just got a little breakfast came to one of our spots to create content and it was under construction for two days so we're gonna come back it's the Palais Royale. So now we're gonna try the Arc de Triomphe. We haven't seen it yet, so double whammy. Sightseeing and creating at the same time. There she is. And all her 
her glory. The mall that we're at has a floor that has all luxury vintage, so we're gonna check that out first. Let's go from there. Are you happy to be in Paris? We oui. <laughs> have to our second stop in our vintage treasure hunt. morning fam welcome to day five in Paris we just finished breakfast in our little morning ritual which is we grab a croissant from the spot that we like that first day and we sit here in the front of the screen door and just enjoy our breakfast now we are off to create some content by the Eiffel Tower and then do more shopping yesterday and today were our big like shopping days so we want to hit up a few other vintage stores as well as maybe even like regular stores today so let's get this party started with my outfit I'm shining <laughs> that's Amy's turn over there <laughs> I have the outfit literally her turn. tonight there she is again our original plan for content was derailed because the sun is somewhere where we'd be against it in all of our videos and so we formulated formulated a new plan shoot somewhere else then grab a little hot chocolate and then finish our shopping and then come back and do everything with Miss Eiffel so let's see how we do Sunday was day two, Monday was day three, Tuesday was day four, Wednesday was day five, today's day six so of it. Paris. We are experiencing our first rainy day, but that's not stopping us. We are still going out and seeing the city. Headed to our usual croissant spot. Where are you? I'm here. It's like no way to talk with these umbrellas. Headed to our usual croissant spot and then we have some shopping to catch up on. So. We're gonna do that today. Wish us luck. Hopefully we find a lot of cool vintage stuff. Did I finally find the lace skirt? At this place called Gerisol. It's like a true thrift and they have so many tool skirts. I'm dead. <gasps> look, at, look at the white one. Show the white one. Iconic. Iconic. This is the final selection. I'm just gonna try it on real quick and go from there. This is a store by the way, it's called Gerison. They have a few options, or a few locations in Paris. How freaking delicious are these? Well, I'm excited over drinking. What is wrong with you? You're excited over life. Isn't it beautiful to just be happy about life? Life. Well, I have to do this first. Yeah, seriously, they need. We got a little Baratsis. We've been trying the burratas everywhere we go because all hits, no misses. So let's see how this one goes. Mm. Mm. This is a pasta mm -hmm. that we literally came here for. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Señorita. Cappuccino. 
I'm back at Beast Boutique. See what we find. Just left Beast. And we made a game plan for the rest of the day. We're going to be going to a few other luxury vintage shops here in Paris. Seeing what we find. Lots of like bags and things that are a little bit more luxury. And then we're going to hit up another one of these Beast stores. Just kind of like um. I guess the best I can compare it to is kind of like a crossroads or a buffalo exchange. They have a little bit of vintage but also a little bit of like newer brands like Zara and stuff and it's pretty affordable. Those and Gary Sol are the closest things to like thrifting here, like true thrifting. We also want to hit up a few more flea markets over the weekend but we'll see if we have time. <laughs> here we go, round two. Hey, Amy. Third stop in our grand tour of vintage stores of Paris. We're going to one that I saw on TikTok, most of these I saw on TikTok, honestly. And this one is looking a little promising. Fingers crossed. We are at a new vintage store. It's called Depop Vintage Looks. And they have the most beautiful selection ever that we've seen. And look at this beauty I found. It's a little crossbody. Fits basically my phone lip gloss and nothing else. But I love it. No. So many finds. Morning, fam. Welcome to day seven. It's Friday, and we are in Paris. Still. <laughs> We're not going anywhere else. It's raining again, so we are gonna try to make it to the Louvre for real this time. So, wish us luck. Okay, we saw the Mona Lisa, but as to be expected, that ship was The line was wild. We saw her though, from afar. Now we're going to Napoleon's We're like, okay, let's go. We just finished at the Louvre and a little content at what is it? Palais, Palais Royale. Royale. Yes. It was so funny, y'all. We were in the middle of creating when all of a sudden, what feels like maybe a school trip just started to storm like the five grounds. There were so many little kids running around and Amy and I were both like, oh, no. That age is just, no, no. Now we are headed to Starbucks because there is a Starbucks that's really pretty here. It's the Opera. Yeah. Opera Starbucks. Opera. So let's see if it's as pretty as TikTok said. A new day, a new staring contest. Welcome to our last full day in Paris. <laughs> I... I want to cry. I don't want to leave. I was telling Amy yesterday, usually toward the end of the trip, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Like, I miss my home. I miss my routine. I want to forget my home and forget my routine, honestly. Like, I want to start a new one here. I love it. If I knew the language, I want to know we'd be speaking a whole different thing. Yeah, we're going to enjoy the last little bit that we have left and see the last of Paris. For the last few. <laughs> A morning routine we sit at this particular green door every morning and just have our croissants our juice and our coffee and i'm gonna miss the shit out of this it's my favorite part i think of the mornings One. by the way that croissant from the first day that i was like mm, not sure it grew on me i think i was just used to like overly sugary croissants from starbucks so i was like where's the flavor but that shit is smash Bonjour, bonjour, bonsoir, oui, oui, merci. <laughs> Not all the words I know. Today was a wild one. It was our last day in Paris. So we really didn't really stop much to film 
outside of like short content for Instagram and TikTok because we also wanted to be here, be present, enjoy our last full day in Paris. We've been wanting to do a picnic since we got here by the Eiffel. We originally thought we were gonna do it at Champ de Mars, which is across over there, under literally under the Eiffel. But it's under construction, and I think they're doing something for Fashion Week. It is too touristic as is. And it's very, like, insanely amount. Like, people are selling. People selling things, people standing, all like, everywhere. I mean, we're tourists too, so don't get me wrong. We love the content. But we don't want to be around that. For enjoying our picnic, we didn't want to be, like, in the middle of that. So, we finished our content. I found this little grass, patch of grass, across the Seine from the Eiffel. And now we are just picnicking, relaxing, enjoying our last few moments in Paris before we have to go home. This is so, I really, I genuinely don't want to leave. <laughs> but anyway, we have to, we have to go home. This is delicious. Why do we have to have responsibility? Why can't we be like, I don't know. Also, it's Paris Fashion Week next week here. And we've been saying that like, while we've always wanted to come to Paris Fashion Week, it just seems, like the city's already hectic as it is. I cannot imagine next week here. Like it would be insanity. It probably will be insanity. So, yeah, we enjoyed, we enjoyed our week and we're definitely coming back. Like this is, this has to be like a very reoccurring thing for us. This is going to be common. Mm -hmm. It's going to be common. This bitch, she said, I'm a sparkle. Sparkle does not even sunset. <laughs>